Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss the structural activity relationship of alpha receptor antagonist. In this video, we mainly discuss the selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist. Few important points regarding this alpha 1 selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist as well as structural activity relationship of this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist. Let's begin with the important points regarding this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist. One group of highly selective alpha 1 receptor antagonists are the quinazolines, example like prazosin, terazosin, and doxazosin. These drugs are used in the treatment of hypertension because they dilate both arterioles and veins. Agents of this class have advantages over the other alpha blockers because they produce peripheral vasodilation without an increase in heart rate or cardiac output. Other than the antihypertensive action, these agents also find use in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia where they help to improve urine flow rate. So these important points you have to keep in mind regarding this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist. Now about this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist which having a quinazolin class. This quinazolin class the structure of this quinazolin class having a presence of quinazolin ring, then having a piperazine ring and a presence of acyl moiety. Under structural activity relationship, we discuss the modification which we do to this quinazolin ring, piperazine ring and acyl moiety and because of this modification, how it will be produced the action or rather how it will affect to the action of drug here we discuss. About the structural activity relationship, you must know the general structure. Here is the general structure with the numbering and directly going to the structural activity relationship. Here we see the structure of few important drugs. So if you replace the R with a presence of furan ring, then the form compound is prazosine whereas if there is a presence of a tetrahydrofuran ring then form compound is terazosine here is the structure of terazosine whereas if the r is a presence of a benzodioxine then form compound is doxa, doxazosine so here is the structure of doxazosine now we discuss the structural activity relationship of this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist and first point is many important drugs like prazosine, doxazosine, terazosine and alfuzosine have a quinoline ring while drugs like tamsulosine lacks this ring. So even though this quinoline ring is important one, but sometimes absence of quinoline ring will also produce a action. For amino at quinazoline, which is important towards alpha 1 receptor affinity. Because of this amino group, the drug gate binds to the alpha 1 receptor. Next point is replacement of piperazine ring with other heterocyclic ring will affect the affinity towards receptor. Like if you replace this piperazine ring to open chain which also produce a potent drug like alfuzosine. So here is the structure of alfuzosine in which instead of piperazine ring it having a open chain and even though this open chain because of this it having a potency. Next point is the substituent R affects the pharmacokinetic properties of drug. So you may also say that this acyl group which have a profound effect on pharmacokinetic properties. Like suppose if it having a furan ring then form compound is prazosine. If it having a tetrahydrofuran ring 
form compound is a terazosine and whereas if it having a benzodioxine ring then form compound is doxazosine we have seen the structure of all these three compound furan to tetrahedral furan which enhances the duration of action by altering rate of metabolism next point is this 67 dimethoxy substituent are found in many potent compound and it seems to be very important one but if you one of this methoxy if you replace with sulfamido it gives a potent compound like tamsulosine so here is the structure of tamsulosine and in which the one of the methoxy group get replaced by this sulfamido group and one more point here if you observe that this tamsulosine which lacks the quinazolin ring okay just this point we have already discussed so hope all of you getting this structural activity relationship as well as the important points regarding this selective alpha 1 receptor antagonist thank you and happy learning